Hello and welcome back to back to Miss Crafts Lots Lair. I am Barbie. I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator, and I am here today. I am so excited about this to show you a new card using a brand new stamp set. This is Lovely Friends, and it is from the new 2017-2018 Stampin' Up annual catalog, and. This is love the set. Every time I see the set, I think of my bestie. This, um, we're, today we're going to be using the Good Friends Are Hard to Find stamp. We're also going to be using these four two-step stamps where these two go together, these two together, and, um, to make the flowers. And then we are going to be using these two stamp, um, stem and leaf sets, I would call them, um, for the frame for the card and I will move this here and because it is a photopolymer stamp set I like to use my stamp and pierce mat just throwing that out there makes my images so much better and for the card base today we're using berry burst and this particular um, card is cut um, it's eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and it is my general go-to card base and to stamp on today we are using a uh, piece of whisper white that is five and a quarter inches by four inches stamps that we're using or the ink pads rather that we're using today are berry burst which is a new in color as well as the lemon lime twist which is also a new in color for this year and it wanted to disappear on me but the basic black is what we're going to be using to stamp the good friends are hard to find so i will go ahead and open that up and i already have my as you can tell, a well-loved already stamp. I am super excited. We have a new catalog out for um, a new annual annual catalog. I can't talk today. And this, I think, is just an adorable stamp set. And let's see if this decides to come out for me. It is a big stamp set. And or big stamp and I always have an issue with stamping on camera. I will put a piece of paper towel over my um, stamp pierce mat just so in that way I don't overly stamp on it. I want to keep it nice and I'm particular and I want to keep my mine nice and clean. <laughs> And I am going to come in here, and I am just going to do all sorts of little stamps on here, kind of all over. Of course, I've got the other stamp, too, so there's, this is, this is the bigger of the two stamps. So I'm kind of using this to fill in more of the bigger spaces. I'm sorry, I'm kind of being airhead today. I love how this stamp and pierce mat makes things so much nicer as far as the stamp comes out. And we'll come in with the smaller one. And I didn't mention yet, but I'm going to be using um, some, a little piece of scrap Whisper White in order to stamp the flowers. little ones in there and I have a 
have one more side. And there we go. I am happy with that. And I'm going to put that aside. Now when I did the flowers for this, I ended up stamping each one of these flowers and then I fussy cut them out because when I originally ordered this stamp set, I was looking at the thinlets that come with that you can get it as a bundle. And I was thinking, how often am I going to use those thinlets? There's some on there that are kind of, I, I didn't know if I was going to use them very much. So I neglected to get the thinlets or the framelets. Um, I have them down, the, the number for them and the bundle down below. Because for this card, I recommend having the bundle just for the fact that it's going to be so much easier if you have the big shot just to um, stamp these flowers, put the thin letter on them, and run them through your big shot instead of trying to fussy cut them like I foolishly did for this card. So, in making the, the flowers, I actually made an extra one for the of the big ones already, so I will put that on there real fast. And I will hunt out my scrap paper and my berry burst. Now I will show you that, like I said, that this is a two step stamp. And to make the color, the flowers in two different colors, I stamp I the, I stamped using the same ink. I just stamped off for the bottom layer and did full strength for the top layer. So I'll show you how I did that. And make sure, see if I can actually stamp on camera this time. <laughs> Oh, and I missed stamped. Go figure. Stamp off. And then stamp. Doesn't work so well on that. Stamp off. And stamp. And you see how you get a lighter background. Like that. And then... The, um, these particular two-step stamps have these little knobs on the photopolymer. And those, so those make sure that you know which way that the stamp goes, for the most part, as far as how to place that second stamp. Mine might be a little different, because on camera, I, I have an issue with on camera stamping. I will get better. <laughs> I will. I'm sure of it. I will get better. All right. And now I will fussy cut these out and I will be right back. All right. And I'm back and I fussy cut, the, uh, fussy cut those three flowers out. I put some snail on the back of the piece here. I will adhere that down. And my favorite paper pumpkin. You hear me talk about it all the time and now in the next couple of days here is the best time if you haven't gotten paper pumpkin, if you're a first time paper pumpkin subscriber, um, through until June 10th you can order paper pumpkin and if you are a new a uh, new customer, you can get 25% off the next three months. So June, July, and August. So super, a super great way to try it out and not have to 
yeah i i love paper pumpkin if you have not watched my videos before i love paper pumpkin and if you have i'm sorry but i love paper pumpkin <laughs> And I'm using the glue dots that I have left over from my paper pumpkins. <laughs> That's why they're in a little different sheet than what you normally would see. And now that I have glue dot, uh, put those on with the glue dots, a finished card. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you tried this. Um, down below is my store information my um all of my social places places where you can find me on social media and such um also um down below um there's a hostess code um what else for <laughs> for june for here we have a special going on if you are a host during this month and your party is over $350, you actually end up getting an extra $35 in Stampin' Rewards, which equals out to more free product. Yay! So if you're interested in having a virtual sh uh, show with me, uh, send me, um, contact me, and we will set that up for you. And like, subscribe, and share if you like this project. Have a wonderful day, and until next time.